Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for my day back from break, Tuesday, the 22nd of March, 2022. Good day today. Uh, overall, pretty good, uh, solid progress on everything that I played and some nice, chill fun on everything that I did. Uh, the pre stream podcast this morning was pretty important. First of all, I talked about how, sadly, Friday's plans have pretty much been smashed and dashed. Um, reviewers are basically saying Ghostwire Tokyo, a game that I was very much anticipating and wanted to play, isn't very good. They're basically saying that after a few hours, the game gets incredibly repetitive, feels more like a walking sim with a little bit of combat that really gets its, uh, worn out after a few hours of gameplay. Although they are saying the visuals are nice and the world is nice to explore, essentially, from reading a, quite a few reviews, it seems to me like after playing maybe a couple streams, people are going to get bored of it, maybe including me. So now I'm completely on the fence on if I ever want to play this on Friday or not, and it's basically thrown a monkey wrench into my plans. So what I would say is this, guys. Here's the deal. We got three options for Friday, and I need to hear your input. Here's our three options. Option one, I play Ghostwire Tokyo as intended. If it sucks, I guess what can you do? We'll play it a couple streams and see if it's worth keep playing it or not. Um, it is a full price game, so it kind of sucks. A little bit of a risk to buy a full price game and then it ends up being boring, like a lot of reviewers are saying. Or another option that seemed to be a popular option over the course of today, play WWE 2K22, which came out earlier this month. I skipped it because I was in the middle of so much other stuff. Uh, play through the story mode, maybe start on my career mode, mess around with it a little bit. Don't commit to playing it long term, but at least have something for variety's sake to balance with Elden Ring so it's not just Elden Ring every single day moving forward like it has been the past couple of weeks. Or just keep playing Elden Ring for now. If that's the case, then the next new release, I believe, is actually LEGO Star Wars, which comes out the first week of April. So rather than have a new release now, we just hold off another week, keep playing Elden Ring every day, and then it would be LEGO Star Wars as our first new release. Um, honestly, I don't know what I want to do more because like, I, I, Ghostwire Tokyo looked good to me. All right, It did. It looked good. But I'm, I'm disappointed that it seems like people are saying, yeah, it just gets really repetitive and not interesting long term, you know? Um... So I don't know. The last thing I want to do is buy another full price game and it ends up being a Horizon Forbidden West situation. And what I mean by that is a game that maybe I'm liking, but it has some shortcomings and then the audience completely disengages from it, doesn't attend, doesn't you know, doesn't support, doesn't do anything, you know? It's kind of exactly what happened with Horizon, which is unfortunate because I think Horizon's a great game, but it just didn't work with my audience. So uh, I'm not actually sure what to do to figure out the answer. I'm trying to get your feedback. Leave a comment on this video. Let me know your feedback. Let me know what you think I should do on Friday. Okay? Fair enough. There was also multiple different news stories today, including uh, Haven Studios being acquired by Sony, the new Witcher being announced, all kinds of stuff, a new Ghostbusters game. So go ahead and give it a watch. The main gameplay stream today was Elden Ring. And this was an interesting one because we have a lot of new optional dungeons that we opened up as a result of doing quest lines for NPCs. I did it, uh, both versions of the Caria Study Hall. There's two versions of it. I did both to the end, which was actually quite fun. Then I went back to the well, not the first well, but the second well, where originally there was a lot of giant ants and things. Well, we had teleported into the other side of the well because of we, we had completed some of the quest lines and we went to a tower called Rena's Rise that had a teleporter in it and it teleports you to the other side of the well. This was pretty challenging, but it was also fun. We ended up going to another Forbidden City or Forgotten City and going through it and actually going through all of that. Now I'm in a totally new area, really creepy area full of rot. We had actually already seen this before when we were in the well previously. We were on a ledge and looked down on it. Well, now we're actually up to our knees in that stuff, okay? It's still fun. We had some optional boss fights, some good stuff. And I'm actually excited tomorrow for more because now we're going to try to finish up this rot area and see what's past it. And then after that, we have a whole other new for, uh, forbidden city or forgotten city to keep going in. <clears throat> Plus, we got to go to the new part of the game too. So there's so much to do. I'm excited for tomorrow's Elden Ring stream, okay? Tonight's late stream was Horizon Forbidden West. It was a really chill stream and here's why. Basically, I know that the last thing in the game is the next story mission, Singularity, because my wife, Kat, told me. So I was like, well, I could just beat it tonight, but I had another stream of it planned for Thursday. So I said, you know what? In this playthrough, I've done some side content, but not a lot. Most of the side content that I did was the major story missions for the, the companions. So I said, there's one more companion, Alva, who I haven't done the major story content for. 
So let's do her mission. So I did, and it's funny because as I'm doing it, people are like, oh, there's actually a, a mission for Errand 2. The thing is, you have to actually take over a bunch of those generic base takeovers. And once you do enough of them, which is like four, then all of a sudden it triggers and he says, oh, he has a mission for you to do. And it's his companion mission. I'm like, oh, that's bad. Like, why make you grind in one of the most boring things about the game? I hate the base takeovers in this game. I think they're tedious as hell and not well designed. Why make you grind in those to unlock a major story-based thing for a character? That's really dumb in my opinion. So, anyway, we did all of his mission. We also found an Easter egg that apparently was a reference to Ghost of Tsushima. And there were two missions that were directly linked to having the flying bird. So I did those. By the end of the stream, I had an insanely good new sharp shot bow. An insanely good legendary level spear caster thing. That's basically you throw a spear with an explosive on it. It explodes. It does insane damage. I was fighting a storm bird. One of the big enemies of the game. And I hit it with three of these things. It died. It was like you bought you basically beat a boss character with three hits. I was like, whoa. Well, that's going to be good for the end of the game. And then at the very tail end of the stream, I got a new armor that looks incredibly good. So I was like, wow, th this was actually a productive stream. I didn't expect it to be. I thought it would just be like a mess around stream. We ended up doing more, more progress to prepare for the end of the game than I think anything I've done in the game so far. So it was really good that I did the side content. And by the way, I want to say thank you to those who were here tonight. There weren't a lot. The, the, you know, the attendance was, was pretty low. Uh, in fact, I, I hate to say it, but I'm going to be honest with all of you. After over a two-month streak tonight, we did not hit the 100 likes goal uh, for the stream. Every single stream that I've done since January, and I started talking about how important likes are on YouTube for engagement, we've actually hit 100 or more likes. This was the first stream we didn't do it. We got like 90 or something like that. We were very close and didn't do it. It is what it is. All good things come to an end. The engagement still helped. I mean, 90 versus 100, it's not a big difference, but it was nice to have that goal we were working towards. I'll still continue to try to push for it. It just sucks that it ended tonight, okay? So anyway, thank you to those who were there. Thank you to those who engaged, and thank you to those who supported. Here's the schedule for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, Elden Ring, Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Thursday, Elden Ring, and the conclusion of Horizon Forbidden West. Friday, I don't know. I need your feedback. Do you want Ghostwire Tokyo? Despite the reviews, do you want WWE 2K22 or do you want me to just keep playing Elden Ring for the for the you know for the short term? Okay. By the way, Friday night the premiere of Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and then depending on what I decide to do on Friday, that'll determine the rest of the week. I'm here seven days this week, so I'm here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Six more streaming days, guys. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good night. See you in the AM for Elden Ring, and give me your opinions on what you want Friday. Peace out and thanks.